pair of Oklahoma City residents suing the owner and operator of their historic high rise apartments. They say maintenance workers and the Klassen entered their apartment unannounced while a woman was undressed. They also claim $15,000 they'd saved up for their new baby was stolen. News 4's Ashley Moss has the details. It's actually a historic building. It's listed on the National Registry for the state of Oklahoma, but residents at the class and say that it's fallen into sharp disrepair, and now a lawsuit alleges gross negligence and an invasion of privacy. It's been chaos since day one. Dustin and Isabella York telling News 4 they've been plagued with problems since moving into the Klassen, beginning with a mix-up about their move-in date, basic repairs the couple says still aren't completed, and the worst was yet to come. My heater went out in February. Maintenance come in multiple times unannounced. Walked in on my wife naked in bed. Didn't even knock, just walked in. We had a bag of money that we had saved for our child to put in the bank. Well, it had a large amount of money in it and it went missing as well. $15,000 they say is gone without a trace. Other residents wouldn't go on camera out of fear, but telling News 4 about their problems with the building, getting chops in elevators, issues with mold, broken cameras, and more. The attorney for the couple saying that kind of negligence is a violation of the Oklahoma Tenant Act, and he'll be adding those maintenance issues once he gets through all the evidence. They're creating the type of environment that allows people to freely come and go from an apartment that totally violates your privacy. Uh, there's not 24-hour notice. If there's any notice at all, it's very cavalier. Vesta Realty declining to comment on the suit, but saying their main concern is making sure the residents are happy. You know, it is kind of an older building, so um, especially with uh, high-rise properties, you know, you do have um, issues that happen. Our top priority is making sure that the residents have a home that they love and they cherish. But the Yorks, they're still packing up. I'm seven months pregnant and I do not feel comfortable coming home with my newborn to a building that's in this condition. Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. As far as the elevators go, the Oklahoma City Fire Department says they have been called out to the property five times this year, including three incidents specifically about the elevators. In an email to News 4, Vesta Realty says they passed their most recent inspection by the city.